Hi, I'm Mish. And I'm Dee. Welcome back again. Highly requested movie. Highly requested. Highly requested Harry, Harry Potter, Potter content. Harry Potter anniversary. <laughs> We're so off. Reunion. This was a very highly requested uh, mm-hmm. video to do. Plastic Beast. fam. Yes. Gryffindor. I'm not, I don't have a Gryffindor, but I have a Disneyland shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been wanting to do this video for a while. Everyone's been saying like, it's so good. You get to see the cast. Uh, what, 20 years later, right? Yes, yeah, exactly 20 years. I have no idea what the format is or yeah. how it's going to go down. Is it going to be like behind the scenes? Is it is extra mm-hmm. scenes or deleted scenes, right? I That would be really cool. Someone had mentioned that we should watch the deleted scenes, but I think there are deleted scenes from each separate oh, right. movie. Oh, okay, so this is not a part of it. But yeah, maybe I there's don't... some behind the scenes and mm-hmm. like you said we we have no we're going into it blind, which I think yeah. would be pretty cool so we can have our pretty honest and genuine reactions right. to what's going on, but I think what was unique about how the way that Misha and I watched this series was that because we kind of binge watched it, mm-hmm. I mean we did binge watch it and we had no background on it, we really got to watch the characters grow. Yeah. So it was really cool to see like in a span of like what one month, one to two months of yeah, when we were filming. It's, it's really crazy to see in that perspective and yeah. especially now we're going to watch this reunion they're gonna be way older that last movie had like a like a, a time jump you know they use like cgi to make them look older or like oh, make up right, right, the right, right. older this is the actual portrayal of how they 20 look. years later yeah, 20 years later yeah that's so cool i really did enjoy how they should just shoot that scene again as they are now i know right <laughs> yeah who do you who are you most excited to see in this reunion i'm excited to see malfoy <gasps> maybe luna oh, yeah. i hope luna's in oh, here yeah. neville Oh yeah, I heard Neville's daddy too. Someone. Oh yeah, I see pictures I, of him. I see pictures of him too. But I, like I said, I didn't understand the context of yeah. how puny he used to look. <laughs> okay, sorry, maybe not puny, but just like a baby or like a young kid. Oh, yeah, puberty, every kid is kid. Everybody was definitely on his side. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually heard a lot of good things about Dursley too. Dursley, Dudley. Oh, Dudley right, Dursley. Yeah, That's his name right? Dudley. Yeah, Dudley Dursley. I saw some um, interview footage of him, and he's like such a sweet kid. Mm-hmm. Like seems like such a sweet boy. So that must be so difficult, right? Being like a sweet kid and then playing such a. I think that goes for a lot of actors, actors. who play the villain role. They're yeah. actually a lot nicer than what they are, right? Or what they play, right? I did a perfect example is I've heard of the actor who plays Joffrey in yeah, Game of I heard Thrones. He's super sweet. I heard he's really sweet, and he couldn't book a gig after that. I'm well, sure they before. did that to Malfoy too yeah yeah Yeah. for sure yeah this whole series was super fun to do yeah we're excited to do this because it's been what three weeks since we watched the last movie i I feel very far from the harry potter universe yeah all right if you guys haven't already don't forget to check out the link in our description if you want to join our patreon community where we post early Early access access. full unedited episodes yes and if you're new here please like and subscribe please (laughs) now let's get into the reunion (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> We're kind of getting into the flow, but oh my God, I don't the know music. What Mysterious time. Damn, I can't believe! Wow, how pretty. Where is this? Yeah, London. And but I where? was just gonna say, is that Emma Watson? Looks like her. Yeah, this, this is, so is such cute. Christmas vibes, huh? I wish you were watching this during Christmas. I know. (gasps) Daddy Neville. Daddy Neville, stop it. Wow, this is epic. Oh my God, Big Ben. We love London so much. Mm -hmm. We gotta go back. (gasps) The letter. How cute. Oh my God. They all got one? I'm done. Neville better chill. Emma Watson. Oh my God. This is so cute. This is so cute. I didn't bring my tissues. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is I'm so cool. I know. I was just going to say. Oh my God. He's so handsome. I know. Oh. She's oh. so beautiful. Damn. How cute. What did the bottom say? Is it filmed on set? No, oh, obviously they are They are on set. Wow. This is really cool. Tom Felton. Where's young Draco? Jenny. <gasps> Luna. Oh my god. The girls are back. Oh, oh it's um Bellatrix. Yeah. She probably got a lot of hate. I know. But she's like but in she's so many a, things. Amazing actress. Yeah. This is oh so god. cool. Uh, I have shivers. Look at those double doors. 
Damn, Emma Watson is mommy. Oh my god. How cute. Oh. They went all out. Why do I want to cry already? Oh my gosh. Damn, that dress is sick. I'm gonna get one. Oh my god. <gasps> Tom Felton. Oh. Wow. Oh. How cute. Oh my god. I chills. Oh. I'm literally getting tears. <laughs> Why? Why am I crying already, guys? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh I've seen him in a lot wow, of he things. Barely aged. I know. Slytherin. How cute. All right, I need to chill out. I wonder how much money they put into this. This is so sick. I am so done. Oh, Hagrid. Oh, yeah. Aww. I forgot he passed away, too. Lord Voldemort. <gasps> Where is he? Oh, Bellatrix. She was Slytherin, too? Obviously, probably. Serious Black. Oh, let's oh, go. Let's go. Oh. Is he going to come at the last minute? I know. Damn, they got all the dancers in there, too. And Ron, too. He's not in here yet. Yeah, they haven't shown him yet. Huh? Damn, this is really that was a really cool intro. <gasps> oh! oh my How goodness. Cute. He looks fly. The music. Oh, oh yeah. Tell, like, the quality has gotten so much better. I messed all the way up not bringing my but tissues. At this very moment, people meeting in secret were holding up their glasses and saying to Harry Potter. Oh my the God, boy he got a full on beard. Daddy Radcliffe. The boy who lived. The boy who lived. Save for the people in the back. Yeah, hey man. It's oh, they're gonna oh, talk about the one. Is... Oh, I love it. The director. They're gonna talk about each movie. Yeah. Last time we were here, you were. This shorter. is fire. Just very, very slightly. <laughs> that's kind of you to say. His voice still sounds the same, huh? Yeah. I would never get to ask this question. Like, how did you end I up? Turn my shirt off. Because my daughter Eleanor convinced me to read the books after I refused. Ah. I need to read the books. <laughs> read these finally immediately i saw the movies i just saw them then i had to fly to edinburgh to meet joe rowling uh, this is my vision she said that's exactly the way i see the movie when the books wow. came out the queues of kids around the block i mean <gasps> Aww, so cute okay. oh my god those faces have... i mean we remember how crazy yeah, harry potter was reading the oh books god. I think I probably would have been about eight years old. I think that's oh when the first one came out. It yeah, Ugh. I think that's when I was, that was my same age, age too. My brother and I just became obsessed. I think we're the we same age as her too. Him that is so cute. She was a fan too. I went for a sleepover at his house. And he said, well, Philosopher's Stone's there on the bookshelf. Ah, so cute. We just both sat there in silence, him reading Chamber of Secrets, me reading Philosopher's Stone. So cute. The time of reading, and we oh my god, <gasps> the twins! Oh, they have long hair. Why are they so cute? Sort of genuinely stayed up at night reading. Everyone is so handsome. Yeah. Characters so relatable. It was such an intricately, perfectly. <gasps> oh, there he is. Cooper Grant, there he is. People were talking about like the death of reading. I just think it's a beautiful, yeah. creative act. Oh, we love her she so looks much. She beautiful. One of the many reasons I wow, yeah. she barely aged too. Yeah. Millions who now read books who would never have lifted a book up in their lives and yeah. suddenly realized the power of writing. Yeah. Yeah. The long ass books too. The search for Harry Potter was insane. The new Harry Potter film. Great casting. Children to play the three main roles in the multi million pound film. Multi million pound. I remember going to the, the very first audition. They are so cute. So cute. And then we realized that we were the only set of twins. They really aged so like well. Them. Yeah. So, so but. Going over the road and bought two identical matching. Yeah, so they weren't gingers. I know, huh? <laughs> this whole time. Oh, they probably had to make them all gingers. You're so right. You know, sort of congregate. So they seemingly walked away. Oh and of course, God, well, there's still one gentleman holding a boom mic straight over our heads. Yeah. What's that? I think he even said, it's a mic. <laughs> I was like, they're filming us. This is just like a trick, like as if I'd done it before, really. I remember it because it was Emma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. The excitement around this audition. I always knew. Oh my God. She's so cute. Superstar. I think the biggest pressure at the beginning was who was going to be Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, couldn't, we just couldn't find Harry. Oh, there she I is. I heard about that. Yeah. I was one night watching the BBC version of David Copperfield. Immediately a light bulb went off in my head and I said, this is Harry Potter. Oh, they found him in oh. there. Oh. 
Who is a really child actor? <laughs> He's so cute. I know. His parents do not want him involved in this world. They don't want to. Oh, wow. I think the deal was to sign on for like all seven films and they would be filmed in LA. So my mom and dad yeah. were like, no, that's like a huge disruption to his life. I mean, that's true. Yeah. David being the great producer that he is, convinced Dan's father to bring Dan in for an audition. Wow. Wow. Got our Harry Potter. And action. That's a dragon egg. What is oh. that? That's what that is. What is that? Oh, oh my God. God. He's, He's so cute. So cute. Kid who had a really haunted quality, apparently. You really sweet, <laughs> but you look like you have real. Like, so different. Yeah. This kid sitting there talking, and I just thought, yep, that's him. Thank God we found him. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> they all had this chemistry, which immediately was out <laughs> They're oh so cute. We're going to say that the whole entire reaction. I know. I never thought to look in here. Oh my gosh. I checked this out first term for a bit of light reading. This is so precious. Oh, he comes around the corner any second now. At least he points off Gryffindor. Look at face. I knew it. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. Someone give this girl an Oscar. Good job. <sighs> so cute. I can't. It's lovely seeing you. Yeah, this is surreal. Oh, oh, oh the reunion. Oh. It feels like no time has passed and loads of time has passed yeah. simultaneously. It doesn't feel like much time has passed. Probably spent so much time together too. Mm -hmm. So many times, so many years baby. together. So yeah. Oh, <laughs> kitty stones and a baby. <laughs> I remember there was one where they put all the three of us together. Mm. I do remember that when it was the three of us, something felt different right, and, yeah, and like yeah. right. Oh, that's crazy how they did that. Yeah. And they were like, cool, so oh. we're announcing you've got the parts. There is now going to be a lot of media outside your house, so you can't go Oh, oh, oh. jeez. Upside down. Um, <laughs> Gosh. It's, I don't know, I've never had anything happen to me. <laughs> yeah, you're a superstar. Yeah. That's me. Like, I am that girl. <laughs> I just have to play myself. Arguably the smartest person on the set. And I'm so talking about cute. everybody. She just was, she was a brilliant So glad kid. they protected these kids. <laughs> she is so excited. Yeah. Rupert is just the most, so like, just fearless. Why do these kids have more confidence in me? I know, all of us. And Dan kind of was Harry. They really do are. Be cool. <laughs> but those are his real glasses. I always believe you cannot bring that kind of anxiety. I want everyone to feel comfortable. Mm. I want everyone to feel like they're home. <laughs> I remember this. The music is so epic. First year at Hogwarts. Jeez. Damn. The production is so good, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, I just like the storytelling. It's like you're watching a whole other movie. Mm -hmm. Can they do this for Lord of the Rings or something? And the whole crew just like, they kept us having fun the whole time. Obviously, we were just kids and we were all looking <laughs> forward to mucking about together. Yeah. It just made the atmosphere very much like a fun fair. We work very much. <laughs> oh, seriously. Oh my god, so slaps. much oh, hand slaps. slaps. Yeah. With like both, all of us like little red, kids, like yeah. red I think we also upgraded like, to knuckles as well, like and we're like it's such a thing to do on yeah. you at all. I remember yeah. the shin version. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they really are. Because they probably just spend so much time on set. Dude, they're all slapping each other. They made their jobs harder for themselves by letting us have as much fun as we had because it distracted us from <laughs> the work we were supposed to be That's doing. And for the other people. Yeah. Environment for the kids, though. Yeah. It's all kids, too. Yeah. Like a big problem was like throughout a take, our attention would like would wane and come and go. <laughs> Hermione's having a blast. Yeah. So happy to be in a Harry Potter film that they couldn't contain their excitement long enough to focus on an entire scene. Oh my God, that's so funny. I know. But it's not easy because it takes a tremendous amount of patience with kids. Oh yeah. Particularly yeah, with, it must be hard. With kids as hyperactive and as excitable as we all were. He sounds like he has a different type of accent. He might be from Scotland. Fancy singing boys here. <laughs> Snuck away. Couple of Gryffindors. Look at it. So funny to see Malfoy again. I said you guys are kicking Malfoy. it. Malfoy. Yeah. I guess we were all like 11. You might get like three people to yeah. Neville. Right They're all so handsome. I know. I forgot what the other guy is from too. I actually don't recognize him anywhere else. He's in another TV show that I was watching. Mm -hmm. 
I never true. recall feeling like we're working. No. That's why it feels that way when you watch it. It feels like yeah, kids. That's true. Yeah. Just kids playing on set. Is, is being surrounded by all the, the cream of the um, the British acting industry and not having a clue who anyone is. <laughs> right. I thought, I thought Richard all Anderson the best British actors. As, like, <laughs> as a tour guide for a while. <laughs> First Dumbledore. So cute. The capability of understanding the gravity of who they were dealing with. <laughs> that was no stranger I had met in the village. It was Snape. Good afternoon. <laughs> the adult actors came in and were like the mischief. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually great. That's hilarious. Yeah. So a rubber hand. He loved making his laugh. I tried absolutely everything. I've tried <laughs> creams. I've tried jelly. Hagrid's so cute. I you know. Every moment I woke up, it's like, my husband is threatening to leave me. I, he really loved me. <laughs> what character is he playing? I know. <laughs> He's funny. Very, very difficult. <laughs> Aww. Aww. How cute. Hermione and Hagrid. Well, we spent so much time together. I know. I, mean, I spent more time with you than I did with my own children. I one. know. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, think, I think most of my favorite scenes, if I'm on it. They did have a lot of good scenes together. I keep thinking about that scene where I get called a mudblood. Yes. And you were so oh. sweet with me that day. Yeah. That was an intense scene for like a little girl to play, you know? Yeah. Not understanding the gravity. Especially us, because we didn't know what mud mudblood meant. <laughs> What's a mudblood? Mudbloods are really foul name for someone who is muggle-born. Someone with non-magic parents. Someone like me. Her face. Creating the impossible. And that Hogwarts shouldn't feel as if it's a world that couldn't exist in reality. I had a tremendous amount It really of brought that to life. Yeah. You could build this world from the ground up. Some of the sets on Potter were overwhelming to me, and I've been doing it for 35 years, you know. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Especially for J.K. Rowling. Filmed in 2019, so she did this earlier. Yeah, this, or maybe from then a when separate... it came out. Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. You're not going to put a plastic floor down. It's got to be the real stuff. They probably have just a bunch of footage of interviewing mm. her too. It's the moment when all the floating candles started burning through the ropes that tied them to the ceiling. The it's floating just like, candles crazy. are crazy. crazy. Real candles that oh were really God. lit on the fishing line. Real candles? On fishing line? It's probably so hot in there too. It's probably cold there, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Because they shot it in London. Now they got CGI just to put those in there. Yeah. The Quidditch part is so cool. And the audience had to understand the rules immediately. Each team has seven players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and the seeker. Basically did a rule book for us. <laughs> explaining every detail of the game. That's crazy. With Stuart Craig, our production designer, designed the look of the Quidditch pitch and really create wow. a pitch that felt authentic and real for a game that is completely unreal. Did a good job with that. Yeah, I did an amazing job. Damn, the amount of work that they put into these movies, you really forget. Yeah. There was a moment on day two, maybe, or three. You say, um, we're not going home, not really. I'm not going home, not really. <laughs> His face. So smug. I know. First film is very storybook. It's very inviting. It's yes, like, yeah. until you get to the end of the movie. And why man, I melt a man's face. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nah. That part is crazy. <laughs> But once it became a hit and people accepted, I had a ball on the oh, second cool. film, The Chamber of Secrets, because yeah. I was like, Chamber of Secrets is really good too. First, they were really fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Weasleys. The Weasleys are so cute. I love them. I love the twins. Who wouldn't want to so be a Weasley? Uh, yeah. So welcoming. Mm -hmm. The thing about the Burrows I remember is that it changed all the time. It sort of expanded and contracted. One minute there was a huge fireplace with <sighs> flu powder. That is so cute. It's crazy to see them age, huh? Like, yeah. We had like a Hogwarts family, but I felt like so special having an actual extra Aww. family. Oh, Julie, Julie's brilliant to it. It's so cute. I loved her. Yeah. I loved her in the last movie. She's like, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Really kind of took me under her wing. She literally looks the same. So small, I know. Aww. They really Aww. were like older brothers, Judy yeah. Waters and Mark Williams. They were like my second family. They're like the one family that's always together too in the films. Yeah. You know? They bounce off each other. Dumb I love dumb, that. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> Who? Who did? That's what you do to me. Yeah. yeah. What, what did you say? What? This isn't working. <laughs> I'm it. 
I feel like all their heads are gonna hit the ceiling. I know. It's so small in there. Yeah. This is so exciting. Yeah. First time I've been back since Askabar. We didn't know you were gonna come back. We just put so much work into these sets. Yeah. We must know all about muggles. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? <laughs> That's the cool thing about it as well is that you see that that motion where they are very inclusive, and then you see the complete. I really thought they were redheads this whole time. Me too. Unless they dyed their hair black. <laughs> Some people that are redhead, as they get older, their hair gets darker. That dark? I don't think so. Probably not. Meet the Malfoys. Lucius. Lucius. He is a good evil villain. He is. I was about to play Captain Hook in Peter Pan. I thought, well, I don't want to play two children's villains. Yeah, <laughs> Captain Hook. The point of him being in the story to me was to explain why Draco was such a sadistic bully at school. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. <laughs> it must be a wee. <sighs> Why do you gotta say it like that? There you go. Must be a Weasley. Telling a tale, but it's sinister. Set and action. I adored Tom from the second I met him. But he was always just the biggest <laughs> sweetheart. So he's the one who plays the villains. Yeah. In fact, working with Jason was not always a treat. Just immediately turned. <laughs> Did a scene. So good. Horrible person I've ever met. I just remember... That's how you know he's a good actor. Yeah. The very first scene that I shot was actually cut. It was on the deleted scene. Draco touched something and I used this cane. I went, mm -hmm. don't touch anything, Draco. <laughs> how sharp the teeth were. And they went right into little Tom's hand. Aww. And I went, Tom, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize how <laughs> sharp they were now. It's all right. It's good for the scene. <laughs> you do this evil father. Aww. Good for He'll come and give you a cuddle and say, oh, did I, did I hit you too hard? Did I hit you too hard? <laughs> we were, you know, Jekyll and Hyde, that one. <laughs> I know, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Dobby. Oh, Dobby. Harry Potter. I remember saying to a friend, you know, uh, I've got this part. It's a... He's so cute. There's Dobby. There's yeah. the voice of Dobby. I didn't even realize that, of course, they had to have a normal yeah. a person play him. Swung my leg out, stepped on the stuff, swung my stick, and Chris goes, cut! Can we clean the floor where Jason slipped, please? And I said, no, I didn't slip. What happened? And I said, I kicked Dobby down the stairs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Aww. And I just thought, this so is going to be yeah. ridiculously good for me. <laughs> He's so like true. a villain in real life, too. Yeah. On another level, it's everything. And Aww. that's, I think, Dobby? the beauty of the character. Master has given Dobby a shot. So He's cute. Free. Master has presented <gasps> Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. Free. <laughs> this alliance of friends who endure. Oh. Getting emotional. Look at their faces. So They're cute. so cute. Besties. <sighs> so you and I had one of our greatest laughs together yes. with Richard Harris, and we had a animatronic version. A phoenix. I really thought that whole bird was CGI. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Richard came in and looked at the phoenix and yeah. said, wow, they train these animals marvelously. <laughs> he thought it was real. Well, we don't want to break the spell, so we'll just keep the bird reacting and moving, and then that, you know, got into a cycle where Richard was like, the bird is responding to me. Oh. <laughs> they can carry immensely heavy loads and uh, tears of healing powers. <laughs> No, so funny. Oh, yeah. I always felt guilty about leaving. I really did. Oh, no. When I said goodbye to you guys, I was like, I, I can't believe I'm leaving these guys. Aw. I know. I wonder why he left. It's been the greatest experience of my life. I mean, oh. he's the one that started it all. Yeah, yeah. He set the standard. Failed to <sighs> recognize that it matters not what someone is born, but what they oh. grow to be. Bars. Bars. I love the way... Chapter two, this. coming of an age, coming of age. <laughs> we really grew up with them. Sirius Black. Oh, oh. he looks like a different person. Oh, this is so sick. He is a great actor. Yeah. Sirius Black, that is. He did really good. Yeah. They were taking a slightly darker approach. It was interesting. I met Alfonso, and I think at the time he was the main attraction. Now remember, guys, that you have the courage. The frogs. Yeah. Azkaban is a uh, coming of age. They are passing yeah. the threshold between childhood and their teenage. He looks so different. Different too. That's the next uh, producer. Yeah. Or director. Director. Oh, I guess he only did three. Around. This one's really the good. Tony's yeah. Song. This is one of my favorite movies of the time traveling. Me too. That overshadows everything around Harry. And we needed to convey that also stylistically. 
I like the director for this one too. What's going on? Lupin. Yeah. Dunno. Maybe we've broken down. Dementors. The mentors. The mentors what they suck all the joy oh. away. They were sucking an essence of Harry. Oh, no, it was so bright. Yeah. Like when they were shooting it. Yeah. But the scene is actually so dark. Yeah. Really, yeah. when we first met. Yeah. I think I wow. had a natural sort of paternal thing. Uh -huh. Oh. Go right to that scene. So good. The first person I remember being like in awe of when they came in was Gary. I remember you, you giving remember me, me the, the, out. the Gary chat. Right. Yeah. You were like, mm -hmm. listen, Emma, you need to be cool. Yeah. Like, which, which was really a projection of my own fears, because I was like, Dan, you need to be cool. This is a big deal. Rupert Grant is so serious. Mm -hmm. Like, he's so different from his character. Yeah. You saw them between takes, sitting with each other, talking and laughing, and you could see in the way that Dan looked at Gary, the adulation. So handsome there. So cute. Yes, this is acting, guys. This is <laughs> working towards. Aww. Tim Spool, the one and only Peter Alan Pettigrew. Rickman. Yeah. Snitch. Aww, Alan Rickman. Let's kill him! Wait! I did my waiting! So good. 12 years of it! In Azkaban! I have never Damn. done a scene with such an amazing cast in my life. I love Lupin too. My favorite. Yeah. I trusted you! And you can see Rupert and Emma and Dan that they are completely committed to the scene. I love it. I, I have Ugh. such a great memory of it. Damn. So good. Harry and Sirius have, he's like this cool uncle, but also older brother figure. Yeah. And he's painted as this villainous guy and has the switch where you go, oh, he was so Yeah, awesome. he does a really good job so portraying mm -hmm. both. You know, we only ever found out book. Yeah, but, but I don't know whether you were because you were Harry Potter. Just Rickman. You had a, mm -hmm. Rickman did, yeah. that was it. Rickman. He had the oh, oh, wow. He very, very early said to Joe, he was like, I think oh, I need to know what happened. Oh, no, no. Wow. <laughs> That's neat. Rickman would have an in, wouldn't he? And he never told Chris, never told anyone. He would, Chris would literally say to him, why are you doing that like that? He said, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> His voice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that's serious. Yeah. It's so different. Now you're teenagers wow. and yeah. treat you like a teenager. And he was the first one who like assigned us homework. Listen up, listen up. He wanted to. <laughs> you know these characters at this point better than I'm ever going to be able to understand who they are. So you tell me. And after wow. about sort of. How are they doing that? I know. I feel like you've pretty much covered everything. Like, a good 500 pages about this, but I feel like this one pretty much sums it up. Yeah, bring right. that in. Of course, Emma writes like. <laughs> she really 14 is. 14 page essay. Real life Hermione. Yeah, exactly. Real life. Deliver anything. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't and I do said, it. Rupert, your I'm done. He says, well, uh, I Ron thought wouldn't that Ron wouldn't do it. That is such oh, a good my response. Oh, God. That's perfect. So he kind of saw that it was very in character for, for, for me not to have done it. <laughs> is... I'm done. They really are the characters. How cute. He's like... When you're doing the scenes, it's as if everything is just flowing out of it. The, the wow. truth of the matter is that they are great actors. Hermione and Harry. <laughs> You never have that in the movies because you work with a bunch of people, most of them you would never see again. Yeah. But with wow. Potter, you would come back. Yeah. Yeah. For a long period As of time. As you age. Yeah. yeah. Amongst many that things. That must be crazy. What made it very special. Yeah. It just feels like. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Being in these, you get to be a part of film history. Yeah. yeah. Period. Oh, here we go. Grand new era. They really make you feel like you're going through the whole fire. story. Yeah. Has been Woo. Host Victor Crumb. That was sick. <gasps> Will they bring back Robert Pattinson? Goblet of Fire. I don't know. Doing all of the I don't think so. tournament stuff. He's too busy being Batman. <laughs> I know. Like I remember seeing the Beau Batons come and do their entrance. Wow. And the Dunstrangs. Sick. With the fourth film, we want yeah. a British director. We want something quite theatrical. Oh. Ah. He's just, he was a perfect director for that film. It was a really, like, bombastic, action-packed, wonderful, eccentric film. I love Mike. He was great. I mean, he was almost like he was from the book. That really makes sense how that movie came out. Yeah. The fourth book is the biggest of them. It's about 900 pages. It's 900 book. pages. It's a house brick. I did I hear that they packed a lot in that book. Yeah. In that movie. It's like a Bible. <laughs> so excited by things. And there was this kind of really That's endearing, so like, childlike quality to, to him. That makes so much sense now. Yeah. 
remember it. So things changed when, when Columbus left. It was definitely a bit of a different... Uh, it was a different vibe. So and then Mike knew. Mike treated uh, us like adults. That was it. Yes. He did, I suppose. Yeah. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Water guns. And I said, no, come on, boys, really, it's a fight. Mike <laughs> came over and said, no, 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 no. OK, who wants to fight? Well, of course, I was a tubby 60-year-old <laughs> gent. <laughs> He's fighting? Uh, and, what? Uh, trying to fling him about and so forth, and um, cracked a couple of ribs. And so was in absolute <laughs> agony from, uh, from then on. I'm dead. Of course, the, that I had made a complete twit of myself, and everybody felt much better for that. Oh, my God. Knowing you shouldn't break a director's rib, <laughs> he uh, broke his rib. I'm dead. Here we go, her daddy. Magic is in there. Magic in the air. Magic Mike. Hermione. <laughs> She's very sweaty. That film is just all about teenage. Yeah, it was all about the teenage. Yeah. Love. It really felt like that too because we were literally having the same experiences. Yeah, it must be insane. Yeah. Emma and I would give each other on like texting to the opposite sex. Like, if we if he was texting a boy or I was texting a girl, I'd be like, she sent me this many kisses back. It was, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Had that kind of older brother, younger sister thing. It was a very interesting film in terms of... How much Aww. older is he? I don't know. Crushes and people went out with each other and broke up. Oh. And just like you're doing... I used to do at school. Yeah. Um, it was exactly the same environment, yeah, but it was just yeah. in a defence against the dark arts class. Uh. <laughs> that film was probably peak hormone, at least for me. Let's go, Cho. Oh, oh, go, baby. Exactly Careful, Harry. The bow batons and the dance. Oh, my goodness. So, like, oh, my God, I gotta show that scene. A bunch of, like, hormonal teenagers anyway, and then, like, bring in two massive groups of new people. All of them are, like, purposefully hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I remember that part, clearly. Yeah. I feel like it did not take a, a huge acting. He's like, stuff. I was already feeling that way. Yeah. Awkward, nerdy teenage side. So? Yes? Um... I wonder what she looks like now. I know. One of the, the big, big sequences was the Christmas ball. The Yule ball is first and foremost a dance. <laughs> when Ron dances for her. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so funny. We were in a big room in Oxford. Maggie's right in the middle, and she says, I'm going to teach you to dance. Place your right hand on my waist. <laughs> the kid's 14, Where? and he knows how to get a laugh. Where? Weirdly, I felt quite subconscious about it. I didn't really know. I'd never danced with a lady. His face. <laughs> so it was kind of never going to let me forget this, are you? Never. <laughs> yeah, of course, the James Oliver, the twins, they were constantly kind of ruining me. <laughs> they kind of convinced me before we filmed it that so there was funny. this whole, like, dance. That's his natural hair. And we were like, oh, do you know your steps? Look at their faces. Yeah, the routine. Like, we've all been doing a routine for, like, the past six weeks or something. They're so cute, Just, yeah. One of the most enchanting days was the Great Ball, because there was all these incredibly beautiful young people, perfectly dressed. <laughs> Except for Ron and yeah, Harry. Harry. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. All I can oh. remember is that, like, really aggressive six-layer collar thing you had. <laughs> like a little frill thing. But actually, I kind of loved it. It was very Weasley. Yeah, <laughs> Weasley. Not a lot of people could pull it off. <laughs> Emma obviously looked beautiful. Yeah, she's the only one that's cute. Yeah. And uh, me and Rupert looked like, I don't know. Dorks. Austin Powers. Austin mates. Powers. <laughs> hanging out. Nailed it. They look like Austin Powers. They do. Harry and Ron, particularly Ron, <laughs> see Hermione as a young girl. Aww. Not just this kind of sidekick that they each have. So Is that cute. Hermione Granger with Victor Crump. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. So Jesus, jealous. no. Those kind of emotions, those, those anxieties, insecurities. I knew it was a big deal and I was miserable. <laughs> I just knew it was the like duckling becomes a swan moment. A duckling, jeez. Don't swing your arms. Mike Newell coached me to walk down the stairs in the dress. Your arms are swinging too much. You're walking too quickly. You need to walk slower. <laughs> I would be so bad at that. Yeah, how far? Well, I'm not a dancer and I will never be able to dance. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty rigid in, in that dance scene. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Lucky man. Lucky man. Lucky man. Lucky man. The side. Always... Aww. They're so cute. The, the assignment that had been given was to draw what you thought God oh, looked cute. like. And oh, Tom had drawn a girl with a backward cap. 
on a skateboard. <laughs> That's what he That's drew? That's what he thought. I just don't know how to say it. I just fell in love with him. Are they? I think I was in the hair makeup chair. No, mm. I don't think so. Oh. And someone said she had a crush on you. Oh, so she had, but she had a crush on him. I don't think they're dating then. Oh. And so for him, he was like, you're like my little sister. I was became very protective over her. Yeah, I've always had a soft spot for her. Oh my Aww. God, so cute. I think really <laughs> the truth of it was Tom was the one that I could often be more vulnerable with. Interesting. Wow, I didn't know they had that type of relationship. Me too. Ever, 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 ever happen romantically with us. Oh, we really? We just love each other. That's all I can say about that. What? Mm. How cute. Together. One, two, three. Uh oh, here we go. The Voldemort part. Special guest appearance. <laughs> that part was so sad. Yeah. I can't believe they killed him. And suddenly there is Voldemort. Voldemort. That's when the whole vibes change. He who must not be. When named. he killed yeah. Cedric. And Nailed that's it. when it started it getting dark. dark. You're being asked to play Voldemort. You've got to do it. <laughs> And he still looks like Voldemort. Yeah, yeah, he does, huh? I didn't feel Voldemort was that human. I felt he was... I know he's been human, but he's become a snake-like thing. Yeah. The voice, the sort of so snake-like good. whispered. A sort of whispering wow. voice. Wow. Ah, breath on breath. Ah, wow. Harry Potter. Oh. oh. Wanted to be ultimately evil and otherworldly. Ooh. He's so good. That was to take his nose off. He does yeah. have a nose. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. It was slightly less intimidating uh, than on screen. <laughs> he looked like a normal guy. And for some reason, I was terrified of him. I can touch you. It's his voice. The makeup, the painting of the hands, the nails, the teeth. And even with my nose, I've In character. I felt strong. It felt yeah. powerful. It felt evil. Wow. What was big, one of the people that you assume is going to be very important in the story, Cedric Diggory. Yeah. In that confrontation, Cedric is killed. That is Kill crazy. <gasps> oh, did it so fast, too. I know. It didn't even blink. And Cedric Diggory's father believes uh, that his son has won. The dad. That the kid is dead, and he howls like a dog. This is my boy! Oh uh, my god, that part was so heartbreaking. Yeah. Suddenly something completely unexpected, serious, happens. You realize that this movie is not about life, it's about death. Yeah, the whole mood changed. Yeah. Oh. Feels that kind of death of, of somebody young close to him. That's a scene I remember really distinctly. Yeah, He's back! Voldemort's back! Yeah, the part was so crazy. Yeah. Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort! The three of them, they're in adversity. And that forges friendships, as we know. Yeah, so good. You are protected, in short, by your ability to love, said Dumbledore. Mm. I like how they do the quotes. Yeah, me too. In spite of all the temptation you have endured, all the suffering, you remain pure of heart. Pure of heart. This is so cute. Chapter three. The light and dark within. Oh, I love Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> this one's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Bellatrix. How cute. She did so good. Amazing. Let me see if we can is get up here. Gringotts, wizarding oh, thing. Oh, look, they really don't look very well. <laughs> <laughs> They're all still here. They're really still here. I mean, has wow. anyone fed them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I'll cute. go down the right, you go down yeah. the left. And let's race, okay? On your okay. Master <laughs> has she been in any movies lately? She's, I thought she was in all like the Tim Burton stuff, but yeah. maybe I'm tripping. Last night, I thought, I'm going to just dig up these things. And I asked for your autograph. No, read it out. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> it was a pleasure being your co-star and coaster. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Honestly, still kind you of pleased poetic. with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're in poetic. the sense that I always up, ended up holding your coffee. I do love you. Uh -huh. Then I do love you, and I just wish I'd been born 10 years earlier. I might have been in with a chance. Oh, my God. I am dead. He loves her. Yeah, he got a game. She's so good. They probably just had really good on-set chemistry. Be ready when she does. 
Wow. I mean, off, on and offset chemistry. I was in form number five, five Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. Look, I got my teeth. Oh, I think she's favorite. That she's done <laughs> she kept her teeth? No, this is an actual relic. It's 11 years. In a... 11 years? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, God. We just have to smell it. <laughs> Nasty. Put right in Don't put it yeah. in. Okay, in they go. Yeah. In they go. Do you, do you remember me? I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she looks like Bellatrix. Yeah. You remember? She did not put it back I in. I love her. I think I wanted to be in camouflage. When I was first offered it, Joe sent me a secret message. I like how she's not taking it off. Yeah, she's just leaving it in there. Yeah. Well, Spellatrix doesn't think she's evil. No. She thinks she's the opposite. Right. And why, for her, she is desensitized. It makes her feel powerful. So good. You can never really know what's going to come out of her mouth next. <laughs> Very exciting for an actor. Oh my god. I remember trying to be in charge of the scene and her just having the best time. <laughs> she was just allowed to do anything she wanted. She could cackle, she could jump up and down. Calm down. That must be fun to play. Yeah. And just not knowing, not trying to keep her in tow. You filthy off blood! It's a surprise. It's mm -hmm. just a curious land, aren't you? I kept on wanting to go, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she does a kiss. <laughs> Aw, look at the reunion oh, for them, too. Oh, you killed me. The cousins. <laughs> had to be done. She's hilarious. Yeah. And we had a real duel, and they cut the whole lot. Oh, they could. Why? That would have been good. And we were on that set for days. Damn. Days was... And they cut it? I go through the veil. Then there was speculation of, does he come back? Yeah. No, you can't. No, you can't. Oh, the <laughs> oh this is the whole scene that we missed? Oh no. Damn. When you came in by that point, I was like 15, 16. Yeah. So like you saw mm. in us that like a few of us were like kind of ready to be like, can you push me? Like we, we want to yeah, try yeah. and be actors too. Yeah. Cause I met them a little bit older. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this girl. Oh, Ooh. I'm Bridge. Well, She's so good. We felt we needed a director who could handle that in an entertaining way. She I here? love this movie. It really pushes them in all the right way. Progress. This is such a good movie. It's my favorite. Must be discouraged. Yeah, she was such a Karen in this movie. <laughs> I went into Order of the Phoenix with the young actors in mind and sort of thinking about how we sort of grow the whole thing up and make it a little bit more adult and sort of thematic. So and good. A little oh, we did. Oh, oh, the, oh last, the last ones. The last the three. Same. That's why they all have the same themes, Dark huh? Themes, Dark yeah. themes. He did a great job. Wow. I love it. Yeah, he did turn it up a notch. Yeah. There was a big increase in scale. And oh, yeah. That's why yeah. they were so good. When I started, one thing that David and the studio spoke to me about was Emma is uh, not sure she wants to come back to do another Potter. What? what? Why? When? Darren and Rupert, they had each other. I had my cronies, whereas Emma was not only younger, she was mm. she was by herself. Oh, I think I she know. was. She's like around our age, so I know mm. she. It was kind of like I can see that at times I was lonely. It's so hard oh. to be a child star. Yeah. And the only girl out of all the guys, too. As a 14-year-old boy, I was never going to turn around to another 14-year-old and be like, hey, how are you doing? Like, is everything okay? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I also had kind of similar feelings to Emma. Aww. We, we never yeah. really spoke about it. I, I guess we were just kind yeah. of going through it at our own pace. It just didn't really occur to us that we were all kind of probably having similar feelings. She wanted to pull out why, though? Because it's just too much? Because mm -hmm. it's not natural for kids to grow up yeah, run in all this fame in public. To be constantly judged and being the lonely. Pressure to make the movie good and being lonely. I mean, she handled it pretty well. Like, you don't yeah. ever see her go off the rails or anything. Yeah. That's why she went back to school, mm -hmm. went to college. Tried to live a normal life after. Yeah. I've been thinking about something Dumbledore said to me. That even though we've got a fight ahead of us, we've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Oh, I forgot. My amigos. Yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to watching the films with my hypothetical children. <laughs> Massive oh. impact. It is extraordinary. It is unbelievable. Outside. Oh, oh Luna. <gasps> we Finally. love you. Years old oh. to say thank you to her. Say, I would find life. How cute. She was so beautiful. I'm one of the very lucky few people who can say J.K. Rowling was a pen friend. Wow. <laughs> 
That's crazy. Wow. The first part of the audition is this crazy open call. Literally anyone can come. Wow. No, no experience. experience necessary. That's how she got in. Thousands of people lining up. I remember Dan very vividly. <laughs> and I kept forgetting that I have to talk back to him because I'm so used to watching him on a screen. <laughs> <laughs> so I would just kind of be like... Her voice <laughs> is like that though. Yeah. Believing in yourself. More like they belong <laughs> by witnessing these characters that didn't belong. Dumbledore army. Yeah. Uh, when Harry met Ginny. When she so arrived, cute. She was only uh, nine. Maybe. Mommy, have you seen my jumper? Gosh, so cute. She's been in the movies for a long time too, but she just didn't have a lot of screen yeah. time. Yeah. Johnny was the youngest one, so it was just a bit like, oh, what? This is weird. <laughs> Close your eyes. And you know, there is this. But then she grew up. <laughs> yeah. Everyone on this set has known you for about six or seven years, and they've watched you grow up, and they're now gonna just watch you kiss. <laughs> I know. That must be so weird. Every single one of those girls was like a lovely human being. Slytherin. Slytherin. I've missed your company. <laughs> Did you? Oh, thank you. Did you get anything? Because I stole quite a lot. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> She's hilarious. I know. <laughs> Everyone's so serious except for her. Yeah, I love her. I worry that if I had, I probably would have lost it by now somewhere. You know they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I was actually really surprised and scared by my own reaction because I thought, wow. <laughs> She's so good. Oh my God. That thrill of power. Right. You know, like, I've had that man. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just pointing my wand there and then, and then it moved. Yeah, that must be so crazy to see. Yeah. Than, you know, making a feather levitate. <laughs> <laughs> Harry is under the impression Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. Oh, shit. That's when he started getting really dark. Yeah. The Draco. Who hasn't received affection, the enabling love of the parent or the adult. Yeah. In the sixth film, they make him do the worst thing ever, or to attempt the worst thing ever of killing Dumbledore, and obviously we see him... Don't you understand? I have to do this. Yeah, that was a heavy scene, yeah. too. In my mind, Draco is the hero. Harry's always going to do the right thing. Draco breaks the chains of this terrible family and his responsibility and what he's expected to do. And to watch Tom create that struggle on screen. That was his best performance. Because yeah. you could tell like he was struggling to yeah. do it. He tiptoes through. It was, a, it was just so impressive. Very impressive. Yeah. Like, that acting was really good. Damn, and then Snape kills yeah. him. Please. Here he I've had a <laughs> Damn. He was saying, please kill me. Yeah. Damn. We gotta watch that. Oh, we have to gotta watch these movies. Draco again. looks shook. It's obviously amazing to be back. It's like it's so, I guess, like shocking that so many people that we both thought would be around for Aww. much longer than they. Oh yeah, have so many people have passed. Helen and Alan and Richard Who's Helen? and. They're like fa like family, just too soon. Is that McGonagall? Yeah, she's. I don't know. Oh. Oh, Richard was classic, probably one of the funniest men I've ever met. He was this devilish 11-year-old trapped in a <laughs> year old man's body. Will you give us another 12, please? <laughs> <laughs> he just had that glint in his eye, which made him pr the perfect Dumbledore, by the way. He was brutally hilarious. He works. <laughs> Richard Griffiths was just delicious as uh, Mr. Dirt. Oh, oh, he passed away. <laughs> he embraced his Aww. wickedness. He did a really good job too. Mm -hmm. Passing was the one that has affected me most because Aww. he was generous with knowledge. He was just like wanted to share everything with you. Oh, I didn't realize he wow. passed away that me too. far back. Oh. I wondered when I'd be seeing you. We, all of these are really old. I feel really lucky to be have some little bit of touch with the amount of just amazing people that have passed. You know, I'll be very, very old one day saying like, I knew the absolute legend. Yeah. I, I know I ought not to be Oh, here. she passed. <gasps> oh, that's Helen. Oh, no. Mrs. Malfoy? Oh. I just met the best actress I've oh. ever seen in my life. I did not know that. Oh, damn, me too. I feel lucky to have worked with her. 1964, she's really young. Yeah. <gasps> that's like younger than my parents. She had taught me a lot. Oh, that's so sad. See, I can't say it. Oh. oh. <laughs> She had this ability, <laughs> yeah, just to sort of to show such. Oh, that makes me uh, sad. In our eyes, uh, it was a real treat to work with her. Oh my god. <laughs> she was. Oh shit, I forgot. I can teach you. Oh, Alan Rickman oh, too. Snape. Oh. 1916? He always took 
my thoughts and opinions very seriously, which I was always very yeah. touched by. Uh, Alan was a very dear friend, and we had that final scene, his final scene. Oh, yeah, when he had to kill him. Oh, oh that you. scene was so crazy. And you. Yeah. I was a little intimidated by him, his precision. His... We sort of went toe to toe in a funny way, you know, Snape and Voldemort. That part was crazy. Sing with each other. Alan was a magician. Wow. Oh, I got the shivers. And you can always find them in here. Oh, that was really good. Holy wow. shit. I did hear, I mean, there was, was just a, a long period of time. Yeah, and a lot of older actors. Um, cast, actors, yeah. God damn. Oh, Harry Potter hit different. You're not alone. The Elder One. Ooh, oh, let's go. Last two. The most powerful one oh. ever made. The Resurrection Stone. We love these last two movies. Mm -hmm. Fire. They're super complex. Yeah. The death the others. Together, they make one master of death. The boy who lived. The Horcruxes are so cool. Come to die. Chapter four. Let's go. Oh, Cadabra! <laughs> Oh, I love that. The little Mother map, Dara's map. Taken ...to protect their families, that they really were going to come with him. And that they knew exactly how dangerous that would be. He wanted to tell them what that meant to him, but he simply could not find words yeah. important enough. Chapter four. Something worth fighting for. Wow. The final two movies. It is weird, like, walking around here and seeing... The trio. The ...that we were... Like kids on who treated everything with the respect. amount of respect kids treat things when you're just there and having fun. They really put the sets back up. Remember my hamster? Does anyone remember right. my hamster? Yes. <laughs> Shit, our hamster on set. <laughs> hamster and yeah. being vaguely jealous that you had an animal that was on set. <laughs> they made a coffin for it. Oh, oh my god. And and it had her name engraved. Oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't feel like much time has passed. Yeah. I know. I know. We yeah. all still look better than we do in the epilogue, which yes. is great. Uh, which is made a win. It in before. Epilogue when they're all like 30 years old. Yeah. Bag. Yeah. Jumper. How cute. Ron kind of looks like that now. I know. <laughs> and a fat suit. <laughs> yeah, fat suit. I was very, I was, I think I was, I've kind of. Yeah, you went for it. You were like, give me I the did, full, yeah. give me the suit. You went all in. Yeah. <laughs> I was so proud. That was believable. Yeah. He was the most believable. Yeah. No one else. I think David Yates used to describe us as astronauts. Yeah. <laughs> because no one else has really experienced this on this. We'll be kind oh. of forever bonded by that. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. In between this take, because yeah. I'm so tired or... I think like, we have all fallen asleep in various, like, yes. on, on each other in, like, some of the most grand cathedrals <laughs> and things in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've been through a lot. Wow, uh, yeah. If we were doing a stunt, I trusted that one of you would catch me. <clears throat> I feel like that... Ten years. Wow. wow. It was like the three of us could communicate without mm. even having to say anything. We just knew what needed to be done. We were each very strong for That's each cute. other. We need to change undetectable extension charm. You're amazing, you are. <laughs> These films had a very different feel. We were away yeah. from Hogwarts yeah. a lot of the time, camping out in different places. The tone was a lot darker. For sure. That's yeah. why I was so Dumbledore good. Dumbledore sends you off to find all these Horcruxes, but doesn't tell you how to destroy them. He was so crazy in yeah. that movie. It was a real opportunity to go deeper with these characters. Yeah. Are you coming or you stay? I saw you two the other night. <sighs> Jelly Ron. Yeah, Jelly Ron. A scene that I thought was going to be really awkward and I wasn't sure the about The dancing all, scene. Which was us doing our dance. <laughs> that scene was so awkward. I know. Favorite scenes oh. from the whole of the series yes. because the level of familiarity that you and I had. Why did they have that scene though? It was so random. With another actor. I know. It's also an interesting scene because, like, first of all, we were doing Harry Potter films, and then on the last movie, the director came in and was like, "Hey, how about you do slow dancing to Nick Cave for five minutes?" <laughs> <laughs> like, great, but okay. That was so. I was cringing I mean, so hard. Like, why? Yeah. Why did she say she liked it? Because they were just like so comfortable with each other. Oh. oh this is why she... I kept shipping them, guys. This I is know. Why. It is still a little bit random. 
like you and I got to have a moment of fun. Yeah. Which we like also needed at that needed point. That point. Yes, you know? absolutely. Treacherous little bleeder. <laughs> That sequence on the last movie where it was like us running through the forest. We were racing through the woods, trying not to be caught by the snatchers. Well, don't hang about. Honestly, I remember you and I, Emma, becoming incredibly competitive. <laughs> yeah, it was racing. You guys do what you like. This is like, you do your thing. <laughs> yeah. I'll be here. For me, running is a stunt. <laughs> it's a job. <laughs> we had started off young and really not knowing what we're doing, so that when we'd see each other do like a bit of real acting, you'd go, oh, cool. Oh, that was very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, us kissing oh. was oh, yeah. the most horrifying thing. God. Oh, oh God, that was even more awkward. Oh. <laughs> Because even though that was just like a spell, like they had to actually do yeah, it in real they... life. Oh, my God, that's so weird. Because she had to kiss both of them. Yeah. You think about it? Oh my god, that's what we're doing. Not Livia Osa. She's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. <laughs> Damn. Oh god, Ron. I think she heard you. It was just built up so much Eight. for the whole series. and Eight films. The right. way that sort of just bubbles away. And he is so cute, so small. They're all so cute. This <sighs> relationship has been so restrained for so long. Oh this yeah. Toothpaste. <laughs> Circles having Christmas do, you know. The sleeping in the fingers. I know. <sighs> desperate to see these two. The first kiss was, Actually, was, was cute. When that happened. They really you know? waited eight movies for yeah. that. We're doing the kiss this week between Ron and Hermione. What? Doing the kiss what? between Ron and Hermione in, this the week? This week? in the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, yeah, that, that part oh, was good. Oh, yeah. Extraordinary jeopardy. They turn to each other and then they just kiss. That part was really good. We've waited. Seven movies for this. Made sure they were both comfortable. It was almost like prepping them. For <sighs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. It was meant to be like this, like dramatic thing, yeah. and I was yeah, just really yeah. scared we were never gonna get it couldn't because we just seriously. couldn't take it seriously. <laughs> 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 that must be so I weird know. to grow up with someone and you finally have to kiss. You can understand why they took a while. I'm like, I'm on set and you guys kiss. <laughs> well, and everyone like, wanted to be on set. Everyone, everyone, everyone was it. like, yeah. this is going to be good, guys. I would do that too if I was oh another actor. God. I was going to kind of have to be the one to kind of make this thing happen because Rupert was not going <laughs> to... She took one for the team. <laughs> Taking no prisoners. <laughs> I needed like momentum into the kiss. Momentum. She was getting into it. Yeah. It's my girl. Con lengua. <laughs> I saw Rupert's face explode with surprise. How cute. <laughs> the first take. Kind of thing I blacked out. <laughs> I just remember your face getting closer and closer to my. <laughs> oh my gosh. She really went into it. I know. Damn, they probably used the first take. I know. Kissing Rupert is one of the hardest things <laughs> I have ever had to do. Wrong. So wrong on every level. I know, like a sibling. <laughs> yeah, oh, so that is so weird. I know. Harry! All three of us, I think, felt so matched in how much it meant to us. I remember the scene when you were like, no, guys, I'm the one who has to go on my own kind of thing on this, this one. And I gave you the hug to say goodbye. Oh, I cried that part, remember? <laughs> and I just had Aww. to just bring to the surface how I really felt about it all coming to an end. Yeah. Oh, the final battle. That part was sick. If you ask Joe or anyone who's deeply involved in it, they'll just say it's the battle between good and evil. I owe so much to Neville as a character. I was very, very shy and I wouldn't, I would never speak up in classes. Aww. Aww. It doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down, Neville. People die every day. We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. For the more, yeah. But the thing that Harry Potter did for me, both as a as a story and as an actor in it, but you will. <laughs> did it help me to find? For the more, you're just cracking up. Well, it be for us, for all of us. Ooh. Which therefore, by extension, found what I am. Oh, sick. Come through, though. Like we just watched it all over again. That shit was crazy. That was, a, that was like one of the coolest parts. Yeah. These two adversaries were almost joined spiritually, if you like, in this strange, horcruxy way. I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if Dan just grabbed Rafe and pulled him off this town? Yeah, that part was cool. Let's finish this the way we started. That part was That's really when you thought cool. they were kissing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We were shooting in cold months and the skies were grey. Wow. My forearm wow. got so tight because this thing that's running current in you, so you had to push it back at <laughs> Yeah, you're like pretending the whole time. You're the one who's going to finish this. It has to go out on a high. It has to be meaningful. It has to deliver. 
Part's crazy. The Dark oh. Lord is no more. Yeah. Damn. Hello, my little clip. He's so cute. Well, they'll not be seen like this. Yeah. Why? Is all her clip? Like the clip in his. <laughs> his cheeks are so rosy. I know. Wow. Got those blue eyes. <laughs> what do you do, Cam? I'm for the press. <laughs> exactly. How did you know? This is your first day. How does it feel? It was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> wow. Towards the end, it was kind of a weird time, yeah. especially kind of finishing. Yeah, there were some things that I'm just like, who who am I? Like, what do I like to do? Or what, what is important to me? Mm. Wow. Interesting. I yeah. felt like I only really knew how to do one yeah. thing. I knew how to play Ron. Ron was my favourite character, so mm. it was so cool being him in the film. It always had to end at some point. We were never going to be doing this forever. Yeah. It's like Game of Thrones, long period of time. We always will be. We don't need to see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we don't see each other, it's a strong, a strong bond that we always have, and we will always be part of each other's life. Oh my goodness! They're so cute. <sighs> what a great reunion show! That's so cute. Could this be the best reunion show we've ever seen? Yeah. Ugh, they just did it so beautifully. I love you. Aww. <laughs> Say it back. She's like, thanks. <laughs> she goes, I'm a friend. <laughs> I'm so done. Oh my god. So much wrong. She's gonna uh, say thank you. <laughs> she did say thanks. I told you. Oh my gosh. I wonder who Emma Watson's dating now. It was such a metaphor for what was actually happening. Oh, that's the last. Why? To travel into another world. <laughs> Oh, just, I guess so. It's just you know how they shoot things out of order. Uh, yeah, right, right. And for the people who supported Aww. them and have been there for them throughout, everybody who'd Aww, seen Daniel. them grow up. On that last day, I just lost it. They make me want to cry too. Oh shit! This is their last. Uh, their last shoot. Yeah, they've been through so much together. Yeah. Uh, I think it was. I can't handle this. <laughs> okay, uh, oh my god. It's so ingrained in me as well. Like, I measure my life with these movies. So it says, like, oh, when did you pass your driving test? Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> or the Phoenix. Or the Phoenix. <laughs> That's so crazy. I don't think I fully appreciated the reach that these films had when we were in them. Mm. The amount of people that have said things like, these are the only films my dad and I watched together. Aww. Dobby will always be there for Harry Potter. It's very inspiring for young people to go, oh, that could be me there. Having to stay close to me until the end. I have found it uh, an extraordinary world to be involved with. And it's, wow. a, it's a beautiful world. I can't believe she wrote all this too. I know. People who otherwise feel lonely, they feel they belong. Don't give it to her. Most of the fans like that come up and say hello to me now <laughs> weren't even born. When we <laughs> Gosh, crazy quickly makes you feel slightly older um, and very grateful that it's been passed down. You seem so cool. I know. To other generations. Training for the ballet, Potter! <laughs> One of the things that was unique about Harry Potter, besides the incredible imagination and world, and was the fact that you get to see young children grow into adults. See that I don't know if we'll ever see it again. I get to be part of a world that people love so much. Fire. That's what these stories are for. They are a guide to how to oh, live. Oh, they don't show them to the very, very end. end. Oh. That is uh, Robbie Coltrane, finest gamekeeper in Hogwarts, last day on Harry Potter. Aww. So cute. Hagrid's the one that passed away yeah. recently. R.I.P. Don't you Looks so much younger than too. Minute. But Hagrid will. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Goodness gracious. Now. Just really fond memories. I think about it a lot. <laughs> it was a great time. It really was. It was. Damn. It was I can't wait for the Harry Potter series to I come know, out. The TV like series. The new cast. Yeah. I can't really explain to you. Like, they're such good people. They were so kind and they both took the responsibility of it really seriously. <laughs> they really. really whew. Can you guys stop crying? They're very important people 
to me. The crew on these films were unbelievable. I'm done with this there now. There are people on these films that are... I can't handle this reunion anymore, guys. <laughs> Just end it already. I keep praying. I feel so lucky to be where I am. And none of it is possible without this. Um, we did a good job. It was a very good 10 years. <sighs> 10 years. Please. Oh, oh Alan Rickman. So I get for not bringing my tissues every time. Ugh. After all this time. You still love oh. him. Always. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh my goodness. That was so good. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> that honestly to me was probably the best recap reunion yeah. show I've ever well, seen. How could it special. Not? Like it's such a big franchise and <sighs> it's taken place over 10 years and they literally so grew up with each other yeah i think what makes harry potter so special is that you get to see these kids growing up together from when they were like age nine right. or like 9 to 11 all the way up until like their early 20s and they're watching a lot of like child stars things and like the things that they've gone through i don't, I don't know like i don't Facts. know exactly what went on in every movie or show but it seems like it was a lot more healthier than the other ones we've seen yeah but hermione and ron like they kind of show like they they were going through some stuff at the end of yeah shooting Harry Potter. Like the Hermione said one. that she wanted to quit. Yeah. Um, but they ended up coming back and then Ron also feeling lonely. And how could you not when you're li literally growing up on set with people and your your whole life is your verbal. whole life is in public. Yeah. You're being judged and you're being scrutinized for playing these beloved characters. Yeah. As a child. Exactly. Yeah. And then Ron even explained that he even felt like he wasn't himself anymore, that he was just Ron. He doesn't know who he is. Yeah. And it's that's so scary. Yeah. That is very scary. So you really like feel bad for these kids. I agree with you. I think we definitely commend these kids for doing something like this that takes a huge a sacrifice. huge sacrifice sacrifice and a part of their childhood right that they'll never get back right. and it will always be a part of them like you said you know we don't actually know i pray to god I, or i pray that there was no crazy things behind the scenes that no one just knows or never no one will ever figure out i think we're just really hypersensitive to this right now especially yeah. because of Watching quiet on quiet set, on set and that came out about the nickelodeon you know the 90s and the child actors during right. they do seem like they have a very genuine and authentic cast and set yeah and yeah the nice thing about each of them too is i feel like they had each other these harry potter kids like they were just doing or dealing with the with the tabloids back then right right and of course they as they were growing up you know i'm sure they were like heavily stalked though and like oh for sure crazy fans going after them because harry potter was such a big franchise like yeah. everyone was super crazy about harry potter well i really love the way that they they um they produced this reunion yeah, where, it was really good really cool right yeah the transition the cinemat yeah the cinematography. transition cinematography the way that they wrote the story of like bringing in the directors right. in each ep yeah. in each movie and then talking about their experiences there and what mix the matching like the actors with each yeah. other to see how like they got along and then going to the past sets like mm -hmm. wow i i swear this was like i'm so happy we listened to y'all and watch this reunion episode mm -hmm. and, and shot our genuine reaction to it because you guys are all right that this was the final thing to wrap up the entire yeah. series. I think if we came in at the right time for us yeah. because I think we get to appreciate this franchise even more as adults. Yeah, I think so too. And because we still lived through that moment. It's just that we were never in the moment. Yeah, And I know, you know? a lot of people want us to read the books too. And I was like close to thinking about just like downloading the audio the, book. Me too. But I really hate spoilers and yeah. I really want to watch the HBO series. I want to be shocked by it. I, I think by the story I think they'll still probably do their own rendition maybe I read that they're trying to stay as true, true. as possible to the books oh I see I see so you yeah. don't want to get so spoiler I just, like, just want to have a fresh outlook on yeah. the series no I totally get that and honestly yeah. let's be real like, maybe, just, maybe I'll read the books after yeah maybe we just don't have the time right now yeah the, I got emotional to the part where I just love how they brought this analogy that every single movie was connected to a part of their life and they remember yeah. what they were doing in that part like of their life. Like I got my driver license during, uh, during Order the Order of Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Like, that's the way I think. I mean, I think that's how most people think, but I'm big life events are always anchored by a certain specific time in my life right. too. And like certain, and you know, I love music so much and there's certain albums that I just gravitate to or remember because it was such a pivotal moment mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. And I just loved how they said that because I feel like for us too, I feel like the this Harry Potter series is so pivotal in our life too because I'll always remember like that we reacted to it. Like it's tied specifically to this 
channel and how much we love it even more because you mm -hmm. guys have given us more thought to it. I'm always going to be a Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Now I'm going to forever watch all Harry Potter stuff. And for sure, maybe when we get older too, and we have like kids and like, we're yeah, watching we're like the watch too. Yeah. During yeah. Christmas time, it's such a Christmas thing. Oh, I just love it. I think mm -hmm. we're forever Harry Potter fans because yeah. of this now. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I actually wanted to see the actress that played Professor McGonagall. Oh, and like, yeah. I wanted to see like Weasley's, the Weasley mom. My mom, me too. Um, Obviously, they didn't die because they would have said that yeah. in the show. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was like scheduling conflicts or something like that. That's it's so funny. sad because Hagrid, I think, died like a year after they shot that. Or he just died recently. I'm so glad they didn't. So that part was very emotional. Yeah. I loved how they were able still, still to get him on camera, though. Mm -hmm. But then I loved how he said, you know, my legacy will always move on as Hagrid. Like, yeah. even after I die. Yeah. My God, I know that's like so crazy. No, that's why you get so emotional because you're like, dang, these movies are forever gonna live. If you guys want to see the full reaction to this reunion, it will be in the link in the bio. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you in the next Harry Potter yes. journey. Well, maybe somewhere down the line, HBL series. Yeah. <laughs>